Good morning, it's Jeff up in the Big Game Hunter. It's Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern, and that translates into a healthy dose of no BS job search advice. This is a time where I'm going to spend about 15 minutes speaking with you about some element of job hunting, because to me, I believe that job hunting doesn't have to be hard, it doesn't have to be difficult, and it doesn't have to be painful. It's just the skills needed to find a job are different than the skills needed to do a job. And that's where this show, my other one, which is called Job Search Radio, which is on webtalkradio.net. Excuse me, I ran out of air there. Uh, on webtalkradio.net. Uh, it's where, and both of them, by the way, are in iTunes and other podcast directories. It's all my YouTube videos, my e-zines are designed to help you find work more quickly. You know, it's not enough to just do a job well and expect people are going to knock on your door and say, this is opportunity knocking. So I'm going to try and teach you those skills that are uh, different than the ones that are needed to execute your job. I'm going to teach you the job search skills uh, each week in 15 minutes, uh, a different skill, all designed to help you find, more, or find work more quickly. Now, today's show is brought to you by two sponsors. The first one is Audible. Audible is a service where you can listen to audiobooks uh, available on the web on any device. And they have a, a trial available where you can get a free audiobook uh, if you sign up for a 30 day trial. All you have to do is go to Audible Books, I'm sorry, audibletrial.com forward slash the Big Game Hunter, and you'll be able to order your free audiobook with that trial. My others, by the way, you know you like audio, you're listening to my podcast, right? My second sponsor is ConsultingAssignments.com. ConsultingAssignments.com is a site where you can find and fill consulting assignments, full-time consulting positions, temp, temp to perm and contract to hire opportunities anywhere in the world completely free. Posting a job or a resume is free. Searching jobs and resumes is also free, as is the ability to contact one another. The only thing the site charges for is if you're going to feature a job or feature a resume, it is a whopping $10 for 30 days. And if you're going to post more than one job, they have programs that are going to take that cost down to as little as $2 for 45 days. So that's, again, consultingassignments.com. Now, I thought today I would talk about what to do if you don't quite have the background that's being sought, if you don't have the experience that's necessary to get the interview or get the job. How do you market yourself in those circumstances? Now, I want you to understand that I think all of us have gone through this at one point or another in their careers. And I think back to my own life where I got out of college back in the Stone Ages, and I had a bachelor's degree in political science. Exactly, well, I can't say zero experience. I worked part-time while I was in school. I, I did work for city agencies, political campaigns, and I was even a, a messenger when I was in college. So, you know, I did have some experiences, but would you pay a lot of money for such a person? No, of course not. And I think all of us go through that. Now, it becomes more complicated when you become uh, older because you have some version of experience and you probably want to get a leg up on the next move in your career. And thus, how do you market yourself under those circumstances? Now, the first point to remember is you just need one. You just need one firm, one opportunity to make it all worthwhile. Now, this is a mantra I repeat to job hunters all the time. You become frustrated uh, when job hunting, um, whether it's an individual who has a visa and is seeing all these job advertisements and all these opportunities that very clearly say, no visa transfers available, basically slamming the door on opportunities to them. The college student or high school graduate uh, who's out looking for a job. Uh, the experienced individual uh, who's trying to take that next step in their career. You just need one. And thus, you need to remember patience. 
Um, this is going to take some time. So if you're out looking for a job and think this is going to happen in one week, you're mistaken. This is going to be part of a longer search process uh, for you. So you're going to need to find something immediately if you your risk of a financial crisis from being out of work too long, while at the same time looking for an opportunity um, that might give you that next step in your career. So the first thing to try doing is develop credentials. You know, if you don't have the experience, you try and get the experience, right? So remember, you know, like for example in IT, you know, if you see one technology that's particularly hot, um, you know, you try and take a course. You try and do some work as part of your coursework. You volunteer in an organization where you can develop that capability. But the first time, you know, thing to do is to try and get training in that particular skill so that, you know, effectively you're not starting from square one. So, you know, for example, in IT, there are places like Code Academy where you can learn different technology skills because Lord knows IT is going to get way hot over the next couple of years after a couple of years of being in the doldrums. Why is it going to get hot? Because for several years no one got hired. So it's going to create labor shortages that in our culture right now we're not prepared to take people from overseas to fill. We need to find people who are willing to develop their own skills at their own expense in order to, to get opportunities filled. So you know, take a class, you know, go to different schools, volunteer in order to get some experience using the training that you've had. Okay? So the next thing is to try and get you know, shall we say creative? And I want to be clear on very quickly. When I'm saying creative, um, I'm not talking about live. I was talking about you know, trying to get some of the volunteering in. So, for example, a startup firm uh, might be interested in, in the Ruby training that you've got so that you can say to them, look, I just completed a class. I need to get some experience. I'm not looking to have you pay me. But I want to work with someone who's stronger than Ruby uh, and try and get some code done for you so I can develop some experiences uh, with Ruby. Uh, they may say no, and the next firm may say yes, or the tenth firm may say yes. But you know, the idea is to get some experiences by volunteering. Now, in startups, it's easy. You, know, you can work like a, you know, people work like a beast at startup firms. But what about the neighborhood organization where you've gotten training and you want to develop websites? Well, you can do that too. Uh, what about if you want to advance yourself in accounting? Well, you can contact the controller and say, look, uh, I'm trying to get more experience in this area. Uh, can I you know, offer my services or volunteer completely free to put in a couple of hours a week uh, you know, helping with such and such. Same with engineering. You just try to offer yourself up as a volunteer. You know, another thing people need to do, you know, so, and I know this was true of me when I got out of school, is I had a, a grandiose idea of what my value was. And I think a lot of you complete programs where you have a grandiose idea of your value too. I remember talking to a guy who had, a, had just completed his, his executive MBA. Now he was an IT guy, and now he wanted to run a business for a firm. Who's going to do that for you? Seriously, who's going to give you a major line of business when you have never had that responsibility before? Now, you may have run projects in IT, but you know, when all said and done, you haven't done what they want you to do. So. Be prepared to start at a lower level, even the bottom, in order to get that kind of an opportunity. And as a result, you know, what you're going to do is you know, get a leg up. Now, if financially you can't afford it, I, I have to, in all candor, say, tough. <laughs> Seriously, why is it that they're supposed to drop down on one knee and give you, as in the case of this individual, a major line of business because you have an executive MBA and you've never done anything other than maybe an internship while in school related to that program. 
Can I understand what it's like from their side? Would you hire you? Yes. I remember um, a time where I was driving back from Atlantic City with someone and our car overheated. We were driving a BMW and we barely got off the highway. It was Sunday afternoon. Smoke was billowing out of the car. And the mechanic uh, at the only gas station in a small town in New Jersey said to us, oh boy, a BMW, I've always wanted to work on one of those. You know, it took him five hours to get done, but eventually another mechanic took 10 minutes to do because he didn't know what he was doing. So recognize you need to start at the bottom to learn the skills, uh, and you need to practice those skills. Try trading, you know, bartering uh, to get an opportunity. Uh, you can do work for other people in order to get those experiences in. Uh, and in doing bartering, you have an opportunity to um, trade your current expertise for an opportunity to serve someone else in what you hope will be your new career. This is stuff that you can do part time. This is stuff that you can do as part of a business uh, where you're trading you know, services. So for example, looking at myself, if I wanted to become um, uh, a manager of a a function within a business, uh, let's say a manager in HR, and I haven't worked in corporate before, um, I might trade um, job search skills, uh, branding skills that I have in HR for that sort of opportunity uh, and start at the bottom uh, working with someone so that I have an opportunity to practice while giving something that might be of value for them. And then the last thing you can do is kind of creatively look at your career and see, you know, is there a way that you can reposition what you want to do in a way that has value for the next organization? Now, I know that's a, a complicated uh, idea, but it involves thinking creatively about the function and offering some unique solutions to firms that someone may want to adapt, adopt maybe adapt and give you the opportunity to lead. It's really doing someone else's work for them in order to be able to create a market for yourself. And again, you just need one. You just need one firm to give you an opportunity to make that sort of transition, uh, to take what you've learned, to take what you know, and give it a chance to be, to be able to implement it on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's my advice for this show. I also want to encourage you to come over to my website, which is thebiggameplanner.us, and go explore it. There's a lot of content to help you there with job hunting. Uh, there are podcasts of this show and Job Search Radio there. There are more than 500 videos that you'll have access to from my website that will help you find work more quickly or hire people more effectively. In addition, you can receive a complimentary subscription to No BS Job Search Advice Easy and or No BS Hiring Advice Easy at TheBigGameHunter.us. Search positions I'm recruiting for, find out about my books and guides to job hunting, other people's books and guides, places that you can post your resume to, access to Indeed and Job Search Universe, both of which search thousands of other sites for job leads, so you don't have to find all these places. There's information about my books and guides, the job hunting, other people's books and guides, so come over to the biggamehunter.us and go explore. A few final things. First of all, if your firm's trying to hire someone, send me an email at jeffalpin at thebiggamehunter.us. I'd love to help your firm staff positions. In my career, I filled over 1,100 positions, coming up quickly on 1,200, plus many other consulting assignments. So reach out to me. I'd love to help your firm staff position. If we're not already connected on LinkedIn, send me a connection request. The address is linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter. And finally, if you have a question about job hunting, you're not alone. Most people do, but they make the mistake of reaching out to people who know as little as they do for advice. So contact me through liveperson.com or I'm a job search and career coaching expert. I'd love to answer your questions. 
So this is Jeff Alpin. Hope you have a great day. Hope you found this show helpful. Take care.